Thank you, uh, thank you, Dr. Aline, for hosting everyone and to the uh, Congress, a, a fabulous event here. Uh, uh, my name's Daniel Gribben. I lead the sustainability team at KPMG here in the Lower Gulf. Uh, I've been working in the sustainability industry across uh, Australia, Chile, Amsterdam, and now here in the Middle East uh, for the past 12 years. Uh, and it's a pleasure to talk to you today about sustainability reporting. Um, I'm going to talk to you about building trust. Building trust is key to reputation, it's key to brand, it's key to government integrity. Um, I, I really want to stress this, that this is only one topic, of course, there are many topics which help us build brand and reputation. Um, so I want to start with really what is trust. Trust is a, a word we throw around a lot, it's a word we use um, on a daily basis. Um, really at the end of the day, it's, it's confidence in a person or a product, I mean by definition it's a firm belief in the reliability, truth, or ability of someone or something, whether that's business or, or government. Um, it's also trusting someone or something. It means they're reliable, you have confidence in them, you feel safe, and the big part I want to say there is both physically and emotionally. It gives you a sense of real belief and understanding, uh, both in your surroundings and mentally and in sound of mind. What we're seeing at the moment is, a, I think, generally across the globe, is a slight erosion of that trust. Um, whether it's people becoming more educated, people becoming more aware uh, through various means such as the media, but there is a, a, a genuine erosion of that level of trust and maybe a, an increased demand for more integrity in how companies and governments talk to their constituents and their stakeholders. What we've found is the Edelman, well there's an Edelman Trust Barometer, which a lot of people might be familiar with. Um, this is a global survey, uh, they interview approximately 30,000 people globally every year and they take a look at things like a, a trust index. Um, as you can see from this, this is a, a sample of the countries. Um, the UAE performs very strongly, I just want to say, so congratulations. UAE is, I think, the second or third highest performer in terms of trust. Yet we're still seeing, from 2015 to 2019, a slight deterioration in customer and constituent um, trust in government and organisations. Uh, the US has declined, the UK has declined, India has declined my home country of Australia has declined. And really it comes down to, at the end of the day, is the why. Why are we less trusting at the moment? Um, there are multiple reasons. We've had large, uh, I suppose internationally, we've had gender pay gaps, we've had wage disputes, we've had health and safety incidents, we've had increasing climate change and a lack of disclosure around what people are actually doing to fix problems. And really what it comes down to is disclosure. There is a lack of disclosure at the moment. There is a, a desire, or not a desire perhaps, a underlying fact that companies are willing to only tell the best story that they can, which is wonderful. It increases your stock prices, it increases things. But there is a lack of transparency. And so something like sustainability reporting, or the concept of just general communication, is a powerful tool to really build that trust back up. We're also seeing that it's driven by leadership. Leaders are the most powerful people. They drive behaviour, they drive activity. Um, in surveys, 76% uh, of people say CEOs should take the lead rather than waiting for government to catch up. I think that's maybe quite typical of uh, some of the, the Western regions of the world where we're seeing inaction from people like the US, uh, inaction by Australia and other, other such developed countries from their governments. And so there's a demand for corporations to do more. Part of the Edelman study also, what they thought about CEOs. Only 45% of CEOs, they believed, are credible. And that's a pretty uh, damning stat if you were to be a CEO of a company, I think, unfortunately. Um, we need strong leadership. We need people who want to be credible, who want to be believed. And lastly, we're seeing 60% believe that CEOs are driven more by greed than they are by the desire to make a difference. Uh, this, I think, it comes down to that transparency. I don't actually believe this statistic to be true. I don't believe that statistic that CEOs are driven by greed. However, there is a lack of transparency and a lack of communication, what they are trying to do in their non-financial space, in their social and shared value to society around what their company contributes to. And that's what leads stakeholders to believe that there is a uh, genuine desire of CEOs to be greedy. And so what we've got to do is change this dialogue. 
other things that are driving this. Why are we losing the trust? The media. The media has a large role to play in this. Uh, the Disney heiress recently slammed her company in the US for not sharing wages. The CEO took a, a large financial bonus, which could have increased everyone in the company's uh, annual salaries by about $10,000 US per year. That's a, a very large company. We're seeing investors who want to know where your social conscience lies. We're seeing the Yellow Jackets in France who are angry at government and at companies for the, the way that they're treated as employees. There's a new era of responsible business that's required through investors and through companies like BlackRock. Uh, we've seen a spike in emissions in Abu Dhabi linked to our population growth. Uh, we've seen a ban on single-use plastic in the EU. We're seeing taxes become a main issue of sustainability, tax paid. And we're also seeing things like oil spills and natural disasters and companies that are still forced to pay out the difference 10 years plus after an event. These are all driving the lack of trust and the level and the need or the desire for greater social responsibility by companies. Further, global uh, sustainability initiatives. And congratulations, Dr. Aleem, on your uh, 21 Sustainable Development Goals. I really enjoyed them. They were a great initiative. But what we're seeing is perhaps globally a miscommunication, a misunderstanding, uh, a greenwash or SDG wash of some of the initiatives that are occurring. Uh, the Sustainable Development Goals, I think everyone is now aware of them. But are we reporting on them correctly? Are we accurately disclosing our impact on the Sustainable Development Goals? And what we're seeing is we're probably not, which is driving a loss of trust. UN Global Compact, human rights, issues that have been around for 30 plus years. We're also not seeing consistent and accurate reporting in that space. UAE Vision 2021, something closer to home. We report in accordance with it. We believe we contribute to it. But how much are we actually accurately disclosing and actually telling our story? And finally, you have global things like Expo 2020. The world is going to have our, its eyes on the Middle East and specifically the UAE next year. How are we going to build that trust up? How are we going to communicate our value to the rest of the world as the UAE?